I'm Sandra DeCastro. This is Paint with Faith. We are a motivational painting company. We believe that you can do all things and we want you to believe that you can do all things as well. So repeat after me. If I believe, I can achieve. Okay, now say it like you mean it from the heart. If I believe, I can achieve. Excellent, great. Because you know, your life is like a canvas. So paint it with faith. Here at Paint With Faith, we believe that there are no mistakes in art, just room for opportunities. We want pure, positive energy. So if you hear someone saying something negative, or if you hear yourself say something negative, we solve that by snapping our fingers. So snap with me. One more time. Now don't forget, if you hear someone say, I can't, or I don't know, I'm not sure I can do that or draw that, just remember, keep snapping your fingers and snap out that negativity. Now, this, what we have here, is called a canvas. Not a can't this. Get it? Can this. Because we can do all things. So I want you to remember that you can do all things, okay? So, Grab a canvas. This is about, mm, say, 9 by 10 size if you have it. Now take a look at your paint pack and you'll see a paintbrush about this size. Like this. This is the size and it looks like this on the side. Let me grab another paintbrush. I dropped my paintbrush. So we're going to start off by drawing a circle around your canvas. Okay? So you're going to take your paintbrush and we're going to draw like a circle about here. It's going to look like a circle, but you're going to kind of start there, make a circle. Get to the top, make a circle over here, come all the way to the edge, kind of like this. And it's gonna create like a circle. So let me demonstrate that for you so you can see what I'm see what I mean. Dip your tape paintbrush into the yellow color, into some yellow. I'm gonna step aside so you can take a look and you can see what I'm doing. And then come to the other side after you start from that side. Okay. Now you're gonna do the bottom half of your canvas. So take a look at that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just remember here at Paint With Faith, there are no mistakes, just room for opportunities. So it doesn't have to be perfect, see? Just looks good just like that. This is the first part of the circle. Now you're gonna dip into the yellow again, add some more paint to your paintbrush. Okay, just look like that. And we're gonna continue down the side of the canvas and then curve when you get to the, towards the bottom here like that. So we could continue to make our circle. Add some more paint if you like gonna be a circle. It's not gonna be a perfect circle, but a circle. <laughs> and then we're gonna continue, go down the side, go straight down, curve right about there. Okay, now take a look.
Try it so far. Now what I want you to do is add some more yellow again so you can complete adding more paint so you can see more depth to the yellow in those areas where the paint dried off a little bit. And just fill in some of those crevices with your paintbrush. Okay, add some more yellow to get that side. Wherever you need, wherever you see that you need it. So I'm gonna fill up my areas that needed some more yellow to make my circle. Take a look. So how's it going? Everything okay? Can you see? Okay, now we're gonna continue. Hopefully you're able to catch up. Okay. Now, we're gonna draw through three, three little circles. Well, one's not gonna be a total circle, but it's kind of like a circle. Circles are a good place to start. So I'm gonna demonstrate the fine first, so you could take a look. You can use the same size brush, or you can use a smaller brush. I'm going to still use the same brush so that we can turn this around. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn this around so you can get a look. Let me look at my circle here. What do I want it to look like this? Sometimes it's good to turn things around and see what it looks like on all sides. So look at my circle. <laughs> so I'm going to add some more yellow because I see that it needs a little bit more paint over here. And then add some more yellow. Make my circle. Add some more yellow if you need it. See what I'm doing? I'm adding some more yellow in the areas that look like there was some paint missing and just to fill up the crevices and make my circle. Okay, so now I use up all of my paint I just pretty much cleaned off my brush onto the canvas and I use as much of my paint as much as possible. Okay, now it's basically dry. Okay, take a look. So now in the center of your canvas, right about so, right? That looks about the center, right? What do you think? About here, right? Take your yellow, draw a line in the middle, just so you can have some balance. Let's see, I'm gonna put my line just about so. It'll make sense to you in a minute. Okay, here's the... Oh, you could barely see that, but it has to be really skinny because we're not really going to use it later. We're just going to use this so we can have an idea of where to place the next image. Okay, take a look. You see that? See my line? Okay, so now I'm going to draw with my same paintbrush. Right, kind of like an oval shape. like this and 
and then I'm gonna fill it up and get some more paint. So here, take a look. You see? So now add some more yellow and make Dylan. Mm, it doesn't have to be a perfect shape. I'm trying to draw like a little pear. And then I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to fill up. I'm going to fill it up with the paint of yellow, the yellow paint. Fill it up. So fill it up totally. Paint it with yellow, the yellow paint. Okay, take a look. Doesn't have to be perfect. Matter of fact, I don't even want it to be perfect. I want it to be slightly slanted. So I'm gonna add more paint on this side. Yep. Okay, there you have it. Take a look. It's not perfect. You're going to have like a slight curve to it. Mine has a slight curve because I don't want it to be perfect. It's not trying, I'm not trying to have a perfect oval shape. More like a fruit, like a pear. Okay, take a look at that. If you have a chance. Now, to the right side of your canvas, you're gonna take another brush. We're gonna put this one down for a moment. Okay, we're gonna grab the red, and we're not gonna rinse off this brush. So we're going to grab a smaller brush and we're going to draw red on this side. It's going to be like a kind of a circle, but let me do mine and then you can have an idea of what it's going to look like. It's kind of, we're going to draw an apple and we're going to draw it sort of like part of it onto the pear so it could be in front of it like an apple okay nice size apple Then we're going to use up the rest of the paint to paint inside that circle. Okay. 
feel free to grab more red paint. Take a look. Feeling the paint inside the apple. Grab some more paint, feel free to just add more to your paintbrush. Gonna load it, it's a smaller size. You can still use the other one. If you don't have this size paintbrush, you can still use the other one, that's fine. We're just filling in the inside of the apple with the color red. Grab some more paint and continue to add more red. Let yourself explore, create, and just feel free. It's your painting, it's your canvas. Fill that in. Use up all your paint on your paintbrush. Oops, no mistakes. Okay. Okay. Use up my paint. One thing I like about painting, it helps you focus. Notice how I left a little space there. I didn't fill that in. I did that on purpose because I'm going to draw a little darker circle there as we continue to build on our fruit. Now, we have one more fruit that we're going to draw on this side. We're going to let this dry a little bit while we focus on the left side of the canvas. Okay. On the left side of the canvas so take either this brush or the other one that you have for those of you who didn't have a small brush like this I'll go back to the other one so you can see how that's done you can do the same thing okay the same brush if you like now we're gonna take a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red We're going to mix a little bit of yellow and dab it into the red, okay, to mix. This is how you mix your colors. Add more yellow to the red and keep adding. We're going to make orange. Keep adding more yellow to get like a nice consistency there. You could turn this into orange, okay. See, that's how you make orange. Add some yellow, see that? And I add it to the red and I mix. I do some small little circular motions to mix and blend until I got the color that I like. And this is how you make orange. That's the beauty about working with primary colors. You can pretty much create almost anything you want, really. See? These are colors of nature. So now I'm going to scoop up my paint. I'm going to put this down, grab my canvas, and I'm going to draw right behind or next to the pear, like a little circle shape, kind of circle shape. Do your best to see like a circle shape. And then, okay. I'm gonna put my other brush down because I'm gonna use that in a minute. So I'm gonna slip this down. Okay. 
and then just paint around near the pear, but not on it. Not like we did with the other fruit. Here we go. Take a look. Here's my other fruit. That's the orange. Add some more paint there, fill up the spaces there. Okay. So you should have three fruit in on your canvas. You have the orange. You have the beginnings of the pear and the beginnings of an apple. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you some techniques, some shading and some highlighting so that uh, it can look more like a complete fruit. So now take your brush, right? You make if you need to add any little final touches on the shape feel free to do that this moment okay now for those of you who have the other brush take the brush and just dip into your black. The colors that you should have on your plate, I would suggest your primary colors, but just in case you may forget, you have your blue, your yellow, your green, your red. I also have a little bit of white because you're gonna need that for highlighting and a little pinch of black. Okay, so let me take a look here. Let me show you what I mean. Now we are going to take our plate full of colors. Okay, we're gonna mix another color. You're gonna take a little bit of your red and you're gonna mix it with the blue. We're gonna make brown. So, mix it with blue together with your red. And we're gonna, I'm gonna put it right over here so it can be between the two poles. And then we're gonna make it brown. So scoop a little bit of red, apply it there, and a little bit of blue, and apply it here, mix the two together. because we're gonna need this color in just a moment. So let's practice mixing. See, take a look. Add some more red. Add some more blue. Mix the two together. Get a good amount. Add 
some more red. Okay, and now you got brown. Now grab the canvas again. Now we're going to fill in the circle just a little bit. Little strokes here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can leave some empty pockets if you like. That's fine. Take a look. Get close to the edge of that yellow with the brown. Some more paint. I'm going to add some more red to my blue. So it can be more brown. Maybe some. I'm going to add even some yellow. Let's we'll see what happens. But add, let's be experimental and add some yellow and see what happens. Yeah, that helps. You got three colors in there. It can be brown. Okay, take a look. This is what I made. Mix it. Can you see that? That's what I have. I'm going to add some more in that inside space. Now, for those of you who have a small brush, this is where we're gonna need it because as we get closer to the three pieces of fruit to paint into the little small areas, a small brush is more, uh, more precise. And that way it doesn't uh, create like a little challenge. But if you don't have it, you just have to go slow and be careful with your strokes and with your movement of your hand you can get in there but if, it's, but if you're hitting a large area a big space you can use the flat part of your brush just to fill up the space with the paint okay now over here as I'm getting closer to the edge of this piece of fruit I'll use a f the flat part of my brush and I'll use strokes like this away from the fruit that'll be my suggestion add some more paint if it gets dry and just continue. Okay, we're gonna fill up this background with this brown color that we created. And if you run out of paint, just make some more brown with the blue and the red. Let me get some more paint. I'm going to make some more brown. I'm going to add my red together with my blue and mix. Keep mixing. And if it's too deep of a blue, because sometimes you don't want that, well, it's up to you. Everyone's different. Then you can take a little bit of the yellow and add just a little bit and make it a little bit brighter.
Okay. And here we have our brown. Sometimes people want a deep dark brown. Could do that. We'll do that later. But for now, with this background, we're just gonna add these colors together to make brown. If we want a dark, rich brown, we can add a little speck of this, a little black, but later on, we'll save that towards the end. But right now, I'm just gonna make this brown right here to fill up the background inside the circle. Okay, inside the circle. So inside your circle, continue to make more brown, fill up the space. Fill it up right here. Turn your canvas around if you need to so you can get to the other part of the canvas. Easy to hold. And just fill and just keep filling it in. Go fill it in as best you can. Turn your canvas again and get to this part. Here at Paint with Faith, we try to use all the different techniques for creating something from your heart. So if you if you can do this. You can apply it to other parts of your life as well. You get to create with and use your imagination and create. That's the beauty about that. That's why there are no mistakes in art. Just room for opportunities. Yep. Let's take a look at that. So I'm gonna turn my canvas around so I can get to this part right over here. See what I'm doing? I'm gonna fill up the spaces with this size brush. Now, after I do this part, I'm going to reach for my smaller brush because then I'll be able to get into those tiny little areas with the other size brush. But for now, this is doing a very good job. I can get close to that on the flatter part of the brush instead of, you know, and I'm gonna add some more paint. Fill in the little crevices right there. Okay, turn my canvas around. Grab some more paint so that I can go in here. Let's continue. How's that coming along? Take a look. What do you think? So far, that's real. Ooh, I'm liking that. Look at that. Okay, let's continue. So now we're gonna get all in there. I'm gonna turn my canvas around, grab some more paint here, fill up my brush, and just continue. Okay. There you go. Use tiny little strokes to fill up the spaces there. What's that? Okay, finish my paint on that brush. I'm gonna turn my canvas around so that I can get all in there, okay? Small little strokes. Small, small, small little strokes. It's getting a little tight though. But this brush is getting a little tight for me. I don't know for you, but for me it's a little tight. So I'm gonna turn my canvas around, get some more paint, and then go in here. Oh boy, it's getting tight. Look at that. But I'm doing it. I can do it. 
I want you to believe that you can do it as well. Look at that. Here we are. Tiny little strokes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now, as you notice, with my painting, I have this space here to fill in and a little space in there. And this size brush to me, too big. So I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna grab the other brush that I was using earlier. I mean, if you don't have that brush, if let's say if you don't have that small brush and you know, all you have is this big one, you can do it. So let me show you. You just draw a little bit of paint, very little. Okay, now you're gonna take this brush. Let's say if you didn't have the other brush. You see how I'm gonna go in at a corner? Okay, not like this or like this. I'm just gonna go in there and I'm gonna use the corner, the corner of my brush right about the tip there. Small, tiny strokes. And I can get in there. So it is possible. You just have to be really focused to get in there. Okay? Now, for those of you who have a small brush, you can fill in those little crevices. It's a little bit easier, I would think. Now, I have that excess paint, and I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to finish painting another area here. So that we can do that. I'm not waste any paint. Finish the paint that's on this brush that I scooped up for that little area. And sometimes it's good to step back at your work. I'm gonna step back and take a look at this. How is it coming along? You know, I can assess it, see what I need to do. Now, I'm gonna put this brush down and grab the smaller brush. Add some more paint. Maybe the lens off my brush. If your brush gets hard, from sitting down, just dip it in some water to make it soft again, okay? Wipe it off on a piece of paper towel or an old cloth towel that you, that, you know, old towel and dip it back into the little paint, the brown paint that we created so we can go in there and finish that. Okay, so let me hold my canvas, take a look. Can you see? All right, paint that, and then go in here, and finish all in there. Now, I'm going to add some more paint to my small little brush, dab, dab, dab. So I can go all in the line, the, the lining of the pear. And then a little closer. I'm gonna finish that. Okay. I'm gonna finish in here. So keep turning the canvas around to see if you miss any areas. Let me add some more paint. I'm gonna turn my canvas around and we finish painting in there, get closer and closer. Okay, take a look. Now, with my little brush here, I'm gonna do something a little different here. I'm gonna add like a little skinny, like the skinny part of your brush. 
the little skinny part, the very skinny part, see? Because this brush is smaller. So take a look here. Very small. See how it's very small? The skinny part, the very tip. And I'm gonna go in here and create like a little shadow. Draw a straight line across between the pair and the circle. Add some more paint. Okay. Get in there, fill in those spaces. Right in here. Okay, so between the apple and the pear down here, it's gonna look like a little triangle. And I'm gonna do the same thing underneath the orange. Take that same small brush, and we're gonna go in here, right in there, really skinny, skinny, skinny. I'm gonna add some more paint because I didn't grab enough paint. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna go inside this space right there. Take a look. Okay, so now, earlier I mentioned that I left this space open on purpose. So I'm gonna take that same little brown paint and I'm gonna draw like a little circle right here in that top part. Like a little circle. Mm -hmm. Just about that size. Take a look. If you're running low on brown paint, you know what to do. Just add some more blue and red together to make brown paint. But I still have some paint there. And let's add like a little circle. Mm, let's see, let's see. Uh, like that. Right there. And then like a little, little, I don't know, a little, like a little something, like a little dab right here in the top part of the pear. Take a look. Okay. Now, with the same little brush, we're going to draw a stem coming out of each fruit at the top from the circle that we just painted in here, here, and here. If you have black paint, or if you don't have black paint, just add all the colors together and make a nice dark, rich, dark, dark brown, you can do the same thing. But take your black paint and just draw a line. Let's start with the pair. So we're gonna be from here to there. Okay. And then from the apple, we'll do the same thing. Go back into your back, your little bit of black paint and just draw a line. One going this direction, and then one to the right. And a smaller one from the same apple, from a little bit to the left, just like that. You have that? 
okay here get a good view of that okay so now the paint is getting dry so now we're going to get a little bit of green to draw a leaf out of this stem right here so the stem coming out of the apple to the right just draw like a little leaf okay yeah, it's like a oval shape like that. Fill it in with the green paint. Okay, okay. Add some more green if you like. Now the same stem that we have from the pear, we're going to draw a leaf also. Okay, so go back into your green, and draw like a little line to the right. Take a look. And then Make like a rounded shape from the top of that stem that you just made, like a little round shape on top and a little round shape on the bottom. And then like a little point. Fill it in with the green. Also, grab some more of the green paint, go back to the pair, and draw like a line to your left to make another leaf, like this. Doesn't have to be perfect, we're going to draw a leaf going this direction. Now, take some green and add it to your white. Make a light minty green color. If your brush is dirty, maybe that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rinse off my brush. I'm gonna rinse off my brush. Let's do that again. Sorry about that. See, I made a mistake. It's okay. It's an opportunity for me to do something else. <laughs> so I'm going to wipe off the brush off a piece of towel, get rid of the excess water from the brush. So dip into the green and go into your white and add a lighter color. It doesn't have to be a perfect green. Just add enough white to make a lighter green. Okay. We're going to add some lighter strokes to that leaf there. Okay, there you go. And then add some green to the other leaf here. And add some more lighter green tones to all the leaves that you just made on the apple and on the pear. You can also finish that off over here. Take a look.
Okay, so I'm going to continue. Fill this in. Add some more green. Because I have the paint on my brush, I don't want to waste it. Oh, we should add like another. How about another leaf? Take some green. Create another leaf over here. I almost forgot about that. Just a little long little stem. Add a green leaf. Okay. How are you all so far? How are you doing so far? How's that coming along so far? What do you think? So let's just continue to add some more layers. Okay. We're almost done. We're almost finished. So now we're gonna add some white. Let's add some white, some little strokes. We're gonna add some strokes to some of my leaves here. Some highlights. A little bit of white. Okay. Yellow leaf. Maybe like a little bit at the end there. Okay. And then some strokes here too. And then add some white here. Add some highlights. What do you think? Just pure white, nothing else. And if you want to get rid of the excess paint from your paintbrush, you can wash it off on in, inside the water. Wipe it down real nice onto your towel. Get rid of all the water. Okay. That's what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna add just white only. Just white. Let's add some highlights to the apple. How about that? Take that little white and uh, some white, some highlights there. white and some white to all the fruit and some white mm -hmm. a little bit from white on the top part of this on the top part okay mm -hmm. Highlights there. And some white. Take a look. Hmm? Now, the yellow looks a little naked. We need to add some depth to that. What do you think? So maybe I'll add some shadow here on this side. So I'm going to take a little yellow and mix it with that brown that we made earlier. And if your paint got dry, just, you know, a few dabs here. And uh, let's add some depth, because it's looking kind of naked. Yeah, let's just add some contrast. Yeah. So I download strokes with the skinny part of my brush. So the skinny part of my brush, 
This brush here, and then with strokes. Add some more shadow. We call it shadow. Okay, some shadow from the apple. Yeah. Add a little bit more depth. Let's take a look. And add some here too. Add some more. What do you think? What about that? Take a look. Now, what I like to do sometimes is take a little pinch of black. When I say pinch, I'm talking about like a little speck. Because black is dominant. It's powerful. So just a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to take a little bit with this skinny brush here and just add a little speck. Like I'm almost, almost afraid to touch it. And I'm going to mix it with my yellow. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take a chance here. Okay, so I'm just going to add some more layers here. Just in between, in between. So what I just did, just in between. Like that. Three little strokes. So now I'm going to go back to my yellow. I'm going to wipe off that excess paint. Because now it's, it has black on there. Okay. I'm going to wipe it off on the towel. Add a little bit of yellow to that brush. Okay. I'm going to add some yellow. Some yellow. And then I'm going to go in between those strokes that I just made. And blend it with that before it dries. Okay, and there we go. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to bring that down here to create my shadow. Take a look. I'm going to add some down here to create my shadow. Maybe a little bit on this bottom part of the apple. Okay, like a little shot of contrast. And some on the, uh, down here. Just a little bit, but a little, little bit on the, on the orange there. Okay. Go ahead and finish that off. Hmm. All right, so now, let's clean off that brush. I'm going to wash it off in the water and dab. So now we're going to end the interior here. I'm going to go to my white. Just white, only white, the very tip of the brush. Just white. I'm going to add some more strokes of direction here. Even more white. Add some highlights to where I want it. Okay. All pieces of fruit where I want my white. Okay. Now, maybe a little bit on the leaves also. Let's see. Maybe on top right over here. Okay. A little bit more white. Some of the leaves. I think this one needs a little highlight. What do you think? All right, about there. Maybe this one too? Just a little. And then here too. Just little strokes. Nothing. Just a little bit like that. Yep. Now, we're gonna go to our white paint. We're gonna create like a barrier between the yellow and the brown background that we did here. 
And we're just gonna paint white. Yep. Just go for it. White here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just paint. Just paint white. White, white, white. You need to grab more paint. Grab more paint. Go around. White. Okay. Go all the way around. All the way around. There you go. White. Get more white if you need. Fill up the spaces where you need it. I need some over here. Turn your canvas around if you need to. You can see all the areas. Add more white. Okay. Now, here's where we're going to go back to the bigger brush. I'm going to put my small brush aside, rinse it off, okay? I'm going to clean off that brush. Clean it off. You don't want to leave any old paint on your brush because if you do and you don't rinse it off in time, it ruins the brush. Don't ever do that if you want to use this brush again. So I just finished washing off the paint. Normally, I wash my brushes with some warm soap and water and let them hang dry on the side and let them air dry. Or you could put them upside down into a, a, like a plastic container or something like that and let them dry upside down. That way the bristles, you, you wash it with warm soap and water. This, this detergent works fine. And you can clean it. And um, I'm going to, for now, so I won't forget, I just rinse off my brush. But later, I'm going to wash all my brushes. I like to wash my brushes. And that way you keep them good, in good condition. Okay, so now, after you put that aside, we're going to finish the end of this canvas. So, we're going to take the rest of the colors that we have on our plate. We're going to take some red. Okay. And some blue. Mix it again. If I finish my brown, I need to make more. So, I'm going to mix some more brown. Some more blue. Get some more brown. And we're gonna finish the canvas. I'm gonna add a little bit of black, so we're gonna finish that and make it a darker. Because I'm not gonna waste any paint here. See? And I'm gonna mix it. Just grab it. Finish it. Finish it. Okay. Mix, 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 mix. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to it to make it a little bit brighter. Like we did before. Okay, I'm gonna mix my paint, 
should be enough to finish the rest of the canvas there. If not, sometimes you can wake up the colors by adding a pinch of water to finish it. So now my edges, I'm gonna finish my edges. Turn the canvas around. We're going to the other side. Now, when we turn the canvas around, at some point, well, it depends on how, if you have a table or a desk to lean on, or a, uh, an easel, then you won't have to touch your canvas, okay? Or you could hold it from the back. Let me grab some more paint. Right over here is dry so I can hold it. This dry the paint dries kind of fast. So we got one half done. So now we're gonna fill up this space right over here. And we're almost done. So there you have. Okay, fill up that space. Don't be shy with your brush. Just really work it into the canvas. Now I'm going to turn my canvas around so I can do the other side. Grab some paint. Mm. I'm going to grab some water. So my paint's starting to finish, so I'm going to add a little dab of water. Sometimes that happens. Just wake the paint up. Just a little pinch of, a little pinch of water. Scoop up some paint. Oops. And do that side. Add some more paint. Fill up all spaces that need to be filled up. Take a look back. And I'm going to add some space here. Okay. Because I needed it right here. Some more brown that needs it. Turn your canvas around, analyze, take a look at what we need. Okay. 
I'm going to add some more brown paint. Take a look. I'm going to add some on top here. I like to put some more depth here. Oh, getting paint on my fingers. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, folks. You get paint on your fingers. Just try not to get it on your clothes. <laughs> All right, so now, there's one last thing that we need to do before we finish. We need to sign our painting with our signature. So what I'm gonna do now is finish adding the rest of this paint onto the canvas where it needs some paint. So I don't waste any paint here. I'm gonna add it over here. And I'm going to add some here too. Yep. And add some here. I'm going to rinse off that big brush. Okay. Take a look at my painting. <laughs> now, now that we're pretty much done here, what do you think is missing? I'm gonna add my signature or my initials right on the bottom here. And I'm gonna use my small brush to sign my painting. And there you have it. That's my initial. So everyone, it was a pleasure painting with you today. Thanks again for painting with me. Again, I'm Sandra, and I had a great time painting with you. Painting with you today was a pleasure. Oh my God, this was wonderful. I hope you had a great time as well. And remember, your life is a canvas, so paint it with faith. Okay, take a look. Here, paint with faith. We look forward to seeing you at our next video. Until next time.